Hi, welcome back to my kitchen here at the Davidson County Farber Extension. I'm Jeannie Leonard. Today we're going to make some sausage balls. Now everybody makes sausage balls, but I had carpal tunnel surgery and I can't do the kneading that you need to do. So I'm going to show you how to use your electric mixer. I'm going to use my um, bread hook and that's going to do all the kneading for me. So I start with three cups of ba uh, basically a baking mix and I put a little bit at a time and layer it. Put a pound of sausage, some more Bisquick. You're going to use four cups of cheese, but I'm going to put in a little at a time. The rest of your Bisquick, the rest of your sausage. And so it's not so hot, I take and do half mild and half hot because not everybody in my family can do the hot. I'm going to take a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, give it a little bit more cheese. This is one teaspoon of crushed rosemary. This is one teaspoon of parsley flakes. And it's going to take a little moisture to get it to combine together. So I'm going to use a half a cup of milk. And we're just going to plug this in, lock it down, and this will do all the work for me. two minutes everything's going to be combined together. You're going to take and unlock it and basically what you're going to do is you're going to take and roll these in your hand and I make them about walnut size. Put them on a cookie sheet. Um, put them in a 350 degree oven and it takes anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes and make sure you use a dark pan because if you use a light pan they're not going to get golden brown. And when they get finished they're going to look like this. Um, you can actually set up, bake them ahead of time, freeze them for up for a month if you bake them before you freeze them, and just take them out and file them about an hour. I'm going to take a little bite. Mm. Mm. Keep watching for more recipes, and to get this recipe and more, go to Jeannie's Kitchen on Facebook, and keep watching for more recipes. Thank you.